Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install the C by GE Smart Light Switch. So this is a Wi-Fi smart light switch that allows you to control the lighting from your phone, and it also works with Alexa and Google Voice Assistants. What makes this unique is that this does not require a neutral wire or a smart home hub in order to operate. It works just on your typical Wi-Fi network. So we're going to get started installing the C by GE smart light switch. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that we turn off the power at the circuit breaker to the existing lighting circuit and light switch. So we've done that and now we can use our non-contact voltage meter to check to make sure that the power is off and we can also turn the switch on and off and see that the light fixture in the room does not turn on. So the very first thing is make sure the power is off and now we're going to go ahead and remove this cover plate with a screwdriver. Now that we have the cover plate removed, we need to remove the two screws that hold the light switch onto the junction box. But we want to make sure, once again, before we get into that wiring, that we make sure that there is no electricity flowing through the switch. So we go ahead and take our non-contact voltage meter and make sure that everything is safe. So it is safe, so we're going to go ahead and take out these two screws. Now that we have the screws removed, we can pull the light switch out of the existing junction box. Now, before you remove the existing wiring, it's a good idea to take a picture of what's going on inside the junction box. Once we've taken a picture of the existing wiring in the junction box, we can get started removing the wiring from the existing switch. Now, we can see on the C by GE smart light switch that it only has three wires on the back. It's got a hot wire, a load wire, and a ground wire. So you don't need a neutral wire to install this. Now the other advantage of using the C by GE switch is that the hot and load wires are reversible. They are not directional here. So as long as you get one side on the hot and one side on the load wire, you're gonna be able to make sure that these work. Now the ground wire also is here in green and you're just gonna wanna make sure that you connect that if you have a ground wire in your existing wiring system. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the load wire and the hot wire from the existing light switch and the ground wire from the top of the light switch. Now we're gonna remove the ground wire from the existing light switch. Now we have all the wires ready so that we can install the C by GE smart light switch. We're just gonna undo these wires here on the back and get started installing the wiring. I'm gonna wire up the hot wire and the load wire and then I'm gonna connect the ground wire. You can see on the back of the switch, it shows you the designation for each wire. So you've got the load and hot wire here or line and load wire here. And like we said before, these are non-directional. So as long as you have one connected to the load wire and one connected to the line wire or hot wire, you are good to go. And then we've got our green ground wire over here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the hot and load wires now. In the package, there are some wire nuts, so we're gonna use those wire nuts to make the wiring connections. We're gonna take the existing light switch load wire and connect it to one of the black wires on the C by GE light switch. We screw the wire nut tight until the wires are tightly connected. Now we're gonna take the other black wire on the C by GE light switch and connect it to the existing hot wire for the existing light switch. Now all we need to do is connect the ground wire on the C by GE light switch to the ground wire in the existing junction box. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We've got all the wires installed for the C by GE light switch and now we're just gonna gently fold these wires back into the electrical junction box. We wanna make sure that we have the C by GE light switch correctly installed in the correct orientation. So we make sure that we look at this arrow and it does say up. So we're gonna go ahead and now screw this into the junction box. We secure the screws for the C by GE light switch. The light switch comes with a screwless cover plate so we can install this, but it is also compatible with traditional light switch cover plates and multi light switch cover plates. So no worries there. If you want to put the screwless cover in, all you're going to need to do is snap it apart. There's a little tab on here. You just press that in and then you're going to be able to take this piece and attach it to the GE light switch. Now we take the two tiny screws that are in the packaging and go ahead and screw this cover plate adapter to the top of the light switch. Now we can take the screwless cover and go ahead and snap it in over this C by GE light switch. 
Now we have the light switch installed and we're ready to restore power. So what you need to do now is go down to your circuit breaker and turn the power back on for this circuit so that the GE smart light switch will light up. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We have now restored power to the C by GE light switch and you can see that it is blinking blue. Now I'm just going to test the light switch by pressing on the button. We can see that it does work with the existing light switch and light fixture, so the C by GE light switch has been installed. Now, if we want to control it remotely via the app, we're going to need to download the GE light switch app, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. The GE smart light switch app is available on both Android and the iOS stores. So all I did was a simple search for GE on the Android store here, and then it popped up right here at the top, C by GE. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now all we need to do is install the C by GE app. Now we're going to open the app. Here you're going to need to create an account for the C by GE app. Just enter an email address and a password. Click create an account once you've entered the password and username. Now we have to agree to the terms of service. It asks us to turn on location for setup. Seat by GE is asking to turn on Bluetooth, so we're going to go ahead and click allow. I typically only allow while using the app. Now we're going to set up the C by GE device on the app, so I'm going to go ahead and click plus. Now we're going to click add new devices. Here we've got different devices to choose from and we are setting up wired switches, so I click on this one here in the middle. Now we're going to click on get started. It asks us if our light switch came with a bulb adapter, and it did. We've got our bulb adapter here. And because this light switch doesn't use a neutral wire, sometimes this bulb adapter is required. You just screw it in behind the fixture and then screw in your light bulb and it just helps the light switch work better if you've got flickering lights or any issues. I didn't have any issues installing this so I'm not going to install this, but here we're going to just click yes. The app tells you when to use the bulb adapter if you have flickering lights, no power or poor dimming performance. We haven't had any of those issues while we've had the light bulb and the seat by GE light switch installed, so we're not going to use the bulb adapter. It says make sure the device is in setup mode. The device is ready and in setup mode and our device is ready to set up, so we're going to go ahead and click continue. The app found our device and it says it is connected, so we're going to go ahead and click on this device and click continue. Now it asks us to select a network and enter our username and password. Our device connected, so now we're just going to go ahead and click continue. It allows us to add a device to a room and explains what that means, but we're just going to go ahead and click continue here. We're going to go ahead and select a room name for this, so we're just going to go ahead and call it bedroom for now. The app allows us to give a name to the device. I'm just going to leave it as switch one for purposes of this video, but you could customize it for your needs. So we're going to go ahead and click continue here. It says which type of bulbs are in this device, and we have just a traditional non-dimmable LED here. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. It says the device is now ready, so I'm going to go ahead and click done. It says a new firmware update is available, so I'm going to go ahead and click yes to this. The firmware update is complete, so we're just going to go ahead and click OK. We go ahead and just click back here. Now for the moment of truth. We've got the light switch installed, and I can turn it on and off by pressing the button. But we want to be able to control the C by GE light switch using the phone. So let's see if we can go over here and just swipe it to on. There we go, and we're going to go ahead and swipe it off. So it appears that everything is working well with the C by GE light switch, and if I want to turn it on, I can do so over here, and it updates it on the app, and I can also turn it off. Now, one of the major advantages of this C by GE light switch is that it does not require a neutral wire, and it does not require a home hub. Many other smart light switches require a neutral wire, so this is unique in that way in that it can connect directly to your Wi-Fi network and it does not require that extra wire, the neutral wire, which many older homes may not be wired for a neutral wire. 
If you want to learn how to identify a neutral wire, you can click on one of the links below in one of our other videos that teaches you how to identify home wiring. So that is a big advantage for the C by GE light switch. Now, this can also be connected to Alexa or Google Home for voice control if you want to have voice control of your smart lighting. But let's go ahead and look at some of the other settings within the app for the C by GE light switch. Now you can toggle between rooms and scenes or click down here and it will give you the automations tab, but we don't have any of those automations set up. However, if we want to do that, we can just click the plus symbol here and it gives us options for adding new scenes. So we're going to go ahead and click add a new scene and it gives us some suggestions for some basic scenes that are already programmed into the app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on good night and let's see what we can automate here. I go ahead and click next. We're going to select the light switch that we want to use with the scene and automation and click next. Set the mood for your good night scene. So if I slide it over here, that will be on. And if I slide it over to the left, that will be off. So with the good night scene, what I want to happen is that when I'm going to bed, I want my light switches to turn off. So I go ahead and click create. Now that I have the good night scene, which will turn off the lights, I can create an automation. So I clicked on the automations tab and now I click automate a scene. Here's the scene that we have, the good night scene, and I go ahead, select that and click next. Now it gives us options for timing the automation. I can choose sunrise, sunset, or time of day. So I want my light switches to turn off at 10 p.m. every night. So I went ahead and clicked the time of day and now I'm just gonna choose 10 p.m. Now I click OK. So now that scene is automated so that every night at 10 p.m. my lights will turn off. So I'm going to go ahead and click Create. Now we have our scene automated and my lights will turn off every night at 10 p.m. using the good night scene. I'm going to go ahead and click the Home button here. And now I'm going to go back to the Home screen here and just show you one more time that we can turn on and off the C by GE light switch on the app. So I just slide it over either to the right to turn it on or the left to turn it off. So thank you for watching this video on how to install a C by GE light switch. So this is the standard on off version, but GE also makes a C by GE dimmer version. Now, neither the on off version or the dimmer version require a neutral wire, which I think is a unique value proposition. In my testing so far, I haven't had any issues with the C by GE light switches, and they've worked to control my lights both from the light switch themselves and from the app. Now I'm also going to connect them to Alexa and Google Home, and if I have any issues, I'll leave those in the comments below. If you have an older home that does not have a neutral wire, the C by GE light switches or C by GE dimmers might be a good option for controlling your home with smart lighting. So thank you for watching this video. Once again, if you want to support us, please subscribe, give us that thumbs up, or click any of the links below which help support this channel. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.